So you're working 80 hours a week at a hedge fund and you hardly see your family. But hey, if this is your new car, you've made at least one smart decision in your life. I'm Clifford Atiyah with Car Gurus, and this big Porsche is not the fastest luxury sedan on the market. But the Panamera is the most invigorating, best driving luxury sedan that money can buy. And this one right here, that's the Panamera Turbo, which means we're going to have too much fun today. No one likes admitting it, but from behind, the first 2010 Panamera kind of was ugly. Now, rumor has it that when Porsche first developed the car, the CEO at the time sat in the back seat and demanded that he have enough headroom to clear his six foot two frame. Well, you can blame that guy for the way that car looked, because from some angles it looked like a bloated fish, but no more. What you see here is classic Porsche design, an evolution of a perfect theme. This is the four-door 911 Porsche has wanted to build since the 80s. It's low slung with short overhangs, delicate creases, and a sexy rear. The thin light bar connecting the tail lamps is like that in the 911 Carrera 4 and Targa 4 models, and its Porsche heritage is proudly on display from any angle. Our turbo's 21-inch wheels and summer-rated Pirelli P0s are beautiful, and they require absurd tire pressures if you travel at more than 100 miles an hour. So, in the interest of safety, I've inflated the fronts to 50 PSI. Maybe we should test that, just to be sure. The Panamera Turbo has so much potential that you'll never tap into all of it on a public road. No matter what you're doing, it never breaks a sweat. When you've got a twin-turbo 4-liter V8 with 550 horsepower, all-wheel drive, four-wheel steering, and an eight-speed dual-clutch transmission, you are the superior being on the road. Top speed is 190 miles an hour. Zero to 60, three seconds flat. Now, at 95 miles an hour, the tack on this car doesn't even hit 2,000 RPM. So when you're driving, it's easy to feel invincible. License and registration. Did I say 95 miles an hour? <laughs> I must have read that somewhere in the car's display. You know, there's so many buttons in here, you don't even know what you're looking at half the time. And you know, I, I really, I'm sorry, I wasn't going that fast, really, honestly. The brakes are astounding. The grip never fades. The ride and handling are phenomenal. You can't describe this car without feeling it. It just doesn't make sense that a big, heavy sedan can outperform the world's best sports cars, including the 911 itself. Ride quality does suffer at those high tire pressures, and those fat Pirellis are noisy at all speeds. But you'll live. And you don't need the turbo model to enjoy the Panamera's superb chassis and style. The base Panamera and Panamera 4 make 330 horsepower from a 3-liter turbocharged V6. The Panamera S and 4S have a 2.9-liter twin-turbo V6 with 440 horsepower. The Panamera 4E Hybrid pairs that 2.9-liter V6 with a lithium-ion battery for 462 total horsepower. Soon, there'll be a Turbo SE Hybrid with 680 horsepower. Don't like those? You can order the Panamera Executive, a stretch version that's six inches longer. Or the Panamera Sport Turismo, that's a station wagon. Fuel economy isn't bad either. The EPA rates the turbo at 18 miles per gallon city, 25 highway. I've done everything I can to lower those figures, yet I'm still averaging 17. Once inside, the first thing you'll notice about the Panamera is that there's only four seats. And all four of those seats are buckets that really hold you snugly in place, but they don't suffocate the air out of your lungs. I wish you could really smell this car with me. The leather is so rich and supple, and it covers nearly every surface of the car. Now, for a little bit extra, Porsche will actually cover the air vents, steering column, and even the key fob in leather. There's plenty of head and leg room. This is a digital world, so the Panamera scraps the four analog gauges surrounding the tachometer with high-res screens. They can show ordinary speed and traffic info. Roll your thumb and you'll get navigation, G-force readouts, and night vision, even in daylight. The central screen senses when your hand is near and operates incredibly intuitively. Everything on the center stack is touch sensitive and provides a little bumping sensation when you press a switch. Selecting drive modes is easy. A rotary switch on the steering wheel selects from four settings. Using the screen, you can activate the sport exhaust, raise and lower the car, and lift the rear spoiler. 
It rises out of the hatch and extends laterally like an airplane wing. Under that hatch, you'll find 17.6 cubic feet of storage, plus the rear seats fold down 47.3 total cubic feet. So the Panamera is truly practical. All the expected luxuries are here. Massaging front seats, reclining rear seats, four zone climate control, insanely bright LED headlights for driving at night. But that wasn't enough. See how there's no knob on those air vents? You can control and move each via a touchscreen. Open, close, side to side, and individually for each side. You can set the footwells to be warmer or cooler in the top of the car. Rear passengers can set the navigation and control the Burmester stereo. And yet there's cigarette lighters and ashtrays both front and rear. If you smoked in here, you'd ruin the interior. That's crazy. There are plenty of fast luxury sedans on the market, and none of them are cheap. The Panamera Turbo starts at $148,000, and even then, it doesn't come with many of the features I've described. To get there, our car's window sticker is $183,585. Regular Panameras start at $86,000, and hybrids start at $100,000. So you could buy a Panamera for half the price of this Turbo, but don't visit a Porsche dealer with light pockets. It takes extraordinary money to buy a new Porsche Panamera, but can you think of any other car like it that's really worth the sticker price? Ultra fast, decadent, beautiful, perfectly balanced. Porsche has a racing pedigree and high resale values. So if you want a true four-door sports car, this is it. For more details on the Panamera, check out my full review on cargurus.com and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.